Thank you for joining Ride Fit Nation, hosted by Sensei. This is where you ride your ride and leave the excuses on the road. Our mission on this channel is to go for miles, money, and muscle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let's go. So you don't you don't need a destination to really ride your bike. You don't need you don't need to have something planned to ride your bike. Depending on where you live at, you know, there's so many things that you can do. Like right now I'm out here in the country and I'm on some bumpy roads right now. And Beast is really going through this thing because these roads are bumpy. But it's okay. I'm at Charlie Elliott for reservation. I'm gonna go out by the lake. The time is now 9:19. And I'm just chilling, man. I'm enjoying the early ride. I've been riding for about an hour so far. Um, and I'm enjoying it. The, the weather is very cool. It's nice chill in the air. It's gonna get hotter later. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere. I'm taking my time and enjoying the ride. See, what happens is a lot of times people don't understand that your bike is made to ride. Your bike is made to add miles on it. Your touring bike, I'm not talking about every bike, but your touring bikes, they are made for you to utilize, to add miles. When you don't use your motorcycles, I think they're going to break down on you. I think they break down. I mean, of course, when you're riding long distance, your bike will have issues, but it's okay. They're made for that. They're made to ride and handle long rides. Now, you don't have to go out there and ride for hours. My point to you is set a timer and ride for one hour, one way, and then ride an hour back. And, and, and try new places, try new things. Your skills will grow as a rider. You know, right now I'm on this terrain, on this rough terrain. Let me tell you, gravel's coming up. I'm, I'm going to be taking my time, and these potholes out here is crazy. But a lot of times people will see gravel and they get really scared. I don't, why? Because I've ridden on gravel so many times already. Different experiences create different outcomes. You know what I'm saying? So you begin to understand what your bike can handle and what you can handle as a rider. The experiences are always different. The terrains are always gonna be different. And this is why I'm trying to explain to you guys, you know, riding your bike does not mean that you have to go far. It just means that you have to just be willing to go out there and enjoy the time. Now, these roads, like I said, it's all gravel roads. So here's my question to you. How many times are you getting on your bike per week and riding your bike and taking scenery like this. As a matter of fact, I need to come out here and bring my kayak out here so I can have some fun on the road. On the water, I mean. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Man. Woo. And remember, you can never be too macho and not be willing to surround yourself with beauty because that's the point of being adventurous. On your road glide, your street glide, your road king, your Indian, your challenger, right? Whatever bike you got, be adventurous, all right? So here's my question to all my riders that's following me in Ride Fit Nation. I'm looking to start getting me a tent. I need to find a nice tent. I don't want that dumb tent that comes up easy, that look like a piece of crap. Uh, but I'm looking for a tent because I want to start to motor camp. I want to start, when I'm traveling to these states, right? I want to start to find like different locations where I can literally set up my bike and camp out for the night. I've never done it before. I know a lot of you guys who travel, you're doing that. You've done it. I've never done it. So I want to know what type of tent you recommend, what type of propane gasoline setup you recommend for like if I want to cook anything. And um, what type of, I guess, cushion for when you're sleeping. Yo, this whole entire road is jacked up. Oh, by the way, let me go back to the road. So what I'm doing, I can feel the bike at some points kind of skidding from underneath me a little bit, right? That's not the panic. That just means you just keep the tension going. Keep the power behind the wheels moving. And don't worry about speeding like crazy. You will make it through with no problem. When you feel a little skid on the bike, once again, you're building skills. That's all you're doing, okay? Uh, you can't see the road. Let me look down. No, you can't see the road from the camera. But it's rough. But um, anyway, 
what kind of camp stuff you use. Because I want to take my motorcycle riding. I'm doing things that I've never done. All right, I'm covering a lot of states. I didn't do that with all my other bikes. And my goal is to cover all the states in America that I can on a motorcycle, right? My goal is to camp. My goal is to visit different locations, visit this, do that, do that on this bike and document everything like what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? But I want to know what are your thoughts on motor camping and what are some of the pros, what are some of the cons, what are some of the things that you have found to be problematic for you, okay? Um, another thing I'm looking at too is the Pan, Pan America, that Pan Am bike, that, that, that um, all-terrain bike. You know, I really like that bike. Like right now I'm riding through this rough road. I wouldn't put beast through this type of terrain regularly because this, is not, this bike is really not made for this. This is called a road glide for a reason. It's made for the highways, you know what I mean? Smooth roads, not rough, rugged roads. But I really, I'm thinking about that bike too. Those adventurous bikes that you go off road with those bikes, you know? Do you have the Pan Am or the BMWs or the Ducatis? So they have all these different style bikes that I, 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 I really like them. I never used to like them as much, but I like them a lot now. Oh man, look at this view. More lakes. So I'm just, I'm just bringing y'all along with a ride today as I'm talking to y'all, man. You know what I mean? Like just bringing you in my thought process because um, this this motorcycle thing is people who don't ride a motorcycle will never understand the, the joy that you get from riding your bike. They would never understand how beautiful and amazing riding your motorcycle is. They will never really get it. They will only think about the negativity, the bad news that they hear about. They would only think about the, 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 the lack of safety and all this other stuff, but they won't think about the, the freedom. They won't think about any of that. They will just consistently think about, like I said, the negative, okay? Now I'm coming up to my destination. This is a short video. Like I said, just reaching out to y'all, man. And um, look at how beautiful this is, just for a second. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. And that's enough for me. I just turn around. Now, here's a scary part for a lot of us. When you're turning on gravel, don't try to be all pretty boy. Don't try to do none of that stuff. Take your time. If you got to put your foot down, put your foot down. Just keep that throttle moving. Keep your compression zone intact. And you'll be able to turn your bike. Don't worry about going fast. Once again, like I said, just take your time. Gravel road can be dangerous for motorcycles. You only have two wheels. You don't have four. You only have two. Now, if I want to go faster, I can. But do I need to go faster? No. I'm actually good moving at the tempo I'm moving at. All right? So, anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing y'all comments. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback about the camping. And also about riding on terrain, like like this, with a road glide or your street glide. And what are, you, what are some of the experiences you had? Did, did you have any scary moments at all? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what was the outcome? All right, so this is Sensei telling y'all to get those miles, get that money, get that muscle, and let's do it. All right? Peace.